the Australian government will provide a new 110 million Australian dollars, which is equivalent to 73.5 million US dollars to Ukraine. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese said that the package to Ukraine includes 70 military vehicles to defend against Russia's invasion. The fresh commitments take Australia's total contribution to Ukraine to 790 million Australian dollars, including 610 million Australian dollars in military support since the conflict began in February of last year. Albanese addressed a media briefing in Canberra. He said, and I quote, this additional support will make a real difference helping the Ukrainian people who continue to show great courage in the face of Russia's illegal, unprovoked and immoral war. He said that the package was not prompted by events in Russia over the weekend when heavily armed Russian mercenaries briefly took control of the Russian city Rostov. Albany said that Australia had been working on this proposal with a view to taking it to cabinet this morning for some time. Australia is one of the largest non-NATO contributors to the West's support for Ukraine and has been supplying aid, ammunition and defence equipment including scores of Bushmaster armoured vehicles. It has banned exports of alumina and aluminium ores including bauxite to Russia and has sanctioned about 1,000 Russian individuals and entities. To help Ukraine's economy and trade, Albany said that Australia will also extend duty-free access for goods imported from Ukraine for another 12 months. The latest military assistance package will include 28 M113 armoured vehicles, 14 special operations vehicles, 28 medium trucks and 14 trailers. Albany said that his government welcomed the Australian High Court's decision to dismiss a challenge by Russia to prevent the federal government to take control of land leased to build a new embassy near the Parliament House in Canberra. Earlier, Australia cancelled Russia's lease to build a new embassy citing national security, drawing criticism from Kremlin. Kremlin said that the move by Canberra reflected its anti-Russian sentiment. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.